1. In 1971, The Mary Tyler Moore Show garnered eight Emmy Award nominations for its inaugural season, showcasing its immense popularity. Mary Tyler Moore, the show's star, continued to receive nominations and acclaim in the subsequent years for her portrayal of a single independent woman on primetime TV, a character many admired and looked up to. Two. In 1972, the Sonny and Cher Comedy Hour emerged as one of the most beloved shows on television. Initially intended as a summer replacement series, its soaring ratings prompted CBS executives to extend it as a permanent fixture. The show marked Cher's triumphant return to the spotlight after a setback in her attempt to break into the movie industry, solidifying her position at the pinnacle of fame. 3. Supermodel Lauren Hutton's influence transcends her impeccable sense of style. She played a pivotal role in advocating for fair pay for female models. In 1973, she made history by becoming the first model to demand a contract, securing a groundbreaking $250,000 deal with Revlon. This landmark agreement revolutionized the compensation standards for models practically overnight, leaving an indelible mark on the industry. Four. In 1974, Barbara Streisand enjoyed a triumphant year, propelled by the success of her chart-topping hit, The Way We Were, the theme song from the film of the same name, in which she also starred. This iconic track soared to number one on the charts, solidifying Streisand's status as a singing sensation. Additionally, at the 1974 Academy Awards, the song earned an Oscar while Streisand herself received a nomination for Best Actress, further cementing her place as a powerhouse talent in both music and film. 5. In 1975, Natalie Cole began the Grammy Awards with a captivating performance of This Will Be an Everlasting Love, a song that would later earn her the prestigious accolade for Best Female R&B Vocal Performance. Additionally, Cole's remarkable talent and success were recognized as she was honored with the award for Best New Artist at the same event. It was undeniably a standout year for her, marking the beginning of her illustrious career in the music industry. Six. Farrah Fawcett's life took a dramatic turn with the premiere of Charlie's Angels in 1976. Instantly, the actress skyrocketed to fame, becoming a household name synonymous with the iconic Farrah Flip hairstyle that captivated audiences worldwide. Seven. Barbara Bach emerged as a standout star in the James Bond franchise with her captivating portrayal of Bond girl Anya Amasova in the 1977 film The Spy Who Loved Me. Her performance not only solidified her status as a fashion icon, but also elevated her to the status of a sex symbol, leaving an indelible mark on the series. 8. In 1978, Olivia Newton-John captivated audiences worldwide with her portrayal of Sandy in the blockbuster hit Grease. Her performance not only showcased her exceptional acting abilities, but also highlighted her remarkable singing talent, solidifying her status as one of the most iconic and beloved characters in cinematic history. 9. In 1979, music legend Donna Summer released her seventh studio album, Bad Girls. This iconic album included chart-topping tracks like the title song Bad Girls, as well as hits such as Dim All the Lights and Hot Stuff. With its phenomenal success, Bad Girls went on to become the best-selling album of Donna Summer's illustrious career. 10. Dolly Parton's classic song, Nine to Five, from the 1980 film of the same name, resonated with audiences worldwide, becoming an anthem for women's equality. The film, in which Parton starred alongside Jane Fonda and Lily Tomlin, showcased her multifaceted talents and solidified her status as more than just a singer-songwriter. 11. 
In 1981, the late Princess Diana captivated the world with what was dubbed the wedding of the century when she married Prince Charles. Her iconic status and humanitarian efforts earned her the title of the People's Princess, solidifying her place as a revered figure in history. 12. In 1982, Meryl Streep rose to prominence with her unforgettable performance in Sophie's Choice, where she portrayed Holocaust survivor Sophie Zawistowski. Streep's remarkable portrayal earned her widespread acclaim and her first Best Actress award at the 1983 Oscars. This achievement further solidified her status as one of the most outstanding and iconic actors of all time, building upon her previous success with a Best Supporting Actress win for Kramer vs. Kramer in 1980. 13. If you ask anyone who lived through the 80s about Jessica Lange's most memorable role, they'll likely mention her captivating performance in the 1982 film Tootsie. Despite not being the lead, Lange's portrayal of a soap opera star earned her widespread recognition and her first Academy Award in 1973, solidifying her status as a remarkable talent in Hollywood. 14. In 1984, Shirley MacLaine achieved a milestone in her career by winning the Academy Award for Best Actress for her role in Terms of Endearment. Despite receiving numerous nominations in the past, this marked her first Oscar win, solidifying her talent and contribution to the film industry. 15. In 1985, Madonna dominated the music charts with hit singles like Material Girl and Into the Groove, while also showcasing her acting skills in the film Desperately Seeking Susan. The singer's omnipresence in pop culture was highlighted in a profile by Spin magazine in their May issue, where she was likened to a reincarnation of both Marilyn Monroe and Joan Crawford, 16. Betty White's status as an icon reached new heights in 1986 with the success of The Golden Girls. As the sitcom gained popularity, White's portrayal earned her an Emmy, marking her first win as a leading actress. While she had previously won two Emmys for her supporting role on The Mary Tyler Moore Show, it was her role as a leading lady that solidified her iconic status. 17. If you were a child in the late 80s, you surely remember Nancy Reagan's iconic Just Say No campaign against drugs. However, she wasn't alone in the effort. In 1987, LaToya Jackson joined the cause as a spokesperson and released a fittingly titled anti-drug song Just Say No 018. Glenn Close's most iconic performance to date is undoubtedly her role in 1987's Fatal Attraction, for which she received an Oscar nomination in 1988, her fourth nomination. As The Guardian describes it, this role defined Close as a cultural icon, portraying the ultimate nemesis and every straying man's worst nightmare, immortalizing the character who gave rise to the phrase bunny boiler in the English language. 19. In 1989, the Oprah Winfrey Show had firmly established itself as a cultural phenomenon. Oprah Winfrey, the show's namesake, was already renowned for her ability to inspire people to strive for their best lives. The New York Times published an article titled Oprah Winfrey's Odyssey, talk show host to mogul that year, further solidifying her status as the reigning queen of not just daytime television, but of inspiration and influence across various domains. 20. Before 1990, Julia Roberts had already made a name for herself with roles in films like Mystic Pizza and Steel Magnolias. However, it was in the early 90s that she solidified her status as a Hollywood powerhouse. In 1990, the release of Pretty Woman catapulted Roberts to iconic leading lady status, making her a force to be reckoned with in the industry. 21. In 1991, Supermodel Naomi Campbell made waves in the fashion world by breaking down racial barriers on the runway for Versace, 
all while lip-syncing to George Michael's Freedom. 90. Additionally, Campbell showcased her versatility by starring in Michael Jackson's music video for In the Closet the same year, further solidifying her status as more than just a runway model. 22. In 1992, Whitney Houston's career reached new heights with her starring role in The Bodyguard and her chart-topping rendition of Dolly Parton's I Will Always Love You. The song's immense success, spending 14 weeks at the top of the Hot 100 chart according to Billboard, solidified 1992 as a landmark year in Houston's iconic career. 23. 1993, Celine Dion solidified her status as a music icon with the release of her album, The Color of My Love, featuring the hit song, The Power of Love. This album catapulted Dion to mainstream success and further cemented her reputation as one of the most influential voices in contemporary music. 24. In 1994, the premiere of Friends marked the beginning of a cultural phenomenon. And among its beloved cast, Jennifer Aniston stood out as an icon, particularly for her portrayal of Rachel Green. Aniston's character not only captured hearts with her relatable charm, but also sparked a widespread trend with her iconic hairstyle, which became synonymous with the decade. 25. In 1995, Mariah Carey reigned supreme as the undisputed queen of music with the release of her album Daydream. Featuring hit singles like Fantasy and One Sweet Day, the album showcased Carrie's unparalleled vocal talent and solidified her status as a pop icon of the decade, 26. In 1996, Julia Louis-Dreyfus soared to new heights of fame and admiration with her role as Elaine Bannis in the hit sitcom Seinfeld. As one of the central characters of the iconic comedy series, Louis Dreyfus captivated audiences with her comedic timing and unforgettable portrayal of the witty and independent Elaine. With Seinfeld reaching its peak and drawing over 35 million viewers each week, Louis Dreyfus became a household name and a symbol of coolness and charisma. 27. Undoubtedly, James Cameron's 1997 film Titanic marked a pivotal moment in Kate Winslet's career, propelling her to stardom. The monumental success of the film, which grossed over $2 billion worldwide, brought Winslet widespread recognition and acclaim from both audiences and industry insiders. Her compelling performance as Rose DeWitt Bukater showcased her talent and versatility as an actress, solidifying her status as one of Hollywood's most celebrated stars. 28. For many, Sarah Jessica Parker will forever be synonymous with her iconic role as advice columnist Carrie Bradshaw from the beloved HBO series Sex and the City, which debuted in 1998. The show resonated deeply with audiences, offering a portrayal of female friendship, romance, and empowerment that was both relatable and aspirational. Through Carrie Bradshaw, Parker became a cultural icon, inspiring countless viewers with her wit, style, and fearless approach to life and love in the bustling streets of New York City. 29. In 1999, Jennifer Lopez made a significant impact with the release of her debut album, On the Six. The album's lead single, If You Had My Love, quickly soared to the top of the Billboard Hot 100 chart, where it remained for an impressive five weeks. This achievement catapulted Lopez into the music industry spotlight, solidifying her status as a formidable pop star and paving the way for her future successes in both music and entertainment. 30. Lucy Liu's rise to iconic status began with her role on the television series Ali McBeal in 1998, which garnered her significant attention in Hollywood. However, it was her portrayal of one of the three leading ladies in the 2000 feature film reboot of Charlie's Angels, alongside Cameron Diaz and Drew Barrymore, that solidified her status as a trailblazer for Asian American actors. In this high-profile action comedy, Lou's performance showcased her talent and charisma, breaking barriers and paving the way for greater diversity and representation in mainstream cinema. 
31. In 2001, Alicia Keys made a significant impact on the music industry, earning recognition at the Grammys as Best New Artist, and also winning the prestigious Song of the Year award for her hit single Fallen. This double win solidified her status as a talented singer-songwriter and marked a remarkable start to her career in the music industry. 32. In 2002, Halle Berry made history by becoming the first black woman to win the Academy Award for Best Actress for her role in Monsters Ball. During her acceptance speech, she expressed the significance of the moment, acknowledging the trailblazing women who came before her, such as Dorothy Dandridge, Lena Horne, and Diahan Carroll. Berry's win was not only a personal achievement, but also a milestone for representation in the film industry, symbolizing progress and opening doors for future generations of women of color. 33. In 2003, pop sensation Britney Spears released her iconic hit, Toxic, which became one of her most famous songs. The single showcased Spears' talent and versatility as an artist, earning her critical acclaim and commercial success. Additionally, Toxic marked a significant milestone in Spears' career as it garnered her first Grammy Award, further solidifying her status as a prominent figure in the music industry. 34. In 2004, the release of The Notebook, starring Ryan Gosling and Rachel McAdams, captivated audiences and became a cultural phenomenon. Alongside this romantic classic, McAdams also starred in the iconic teen comedy Mean Girls, further solidifying her status as a versatile and beloved actress. The combination of these two standout roles in the same year made 2004 an unforgettable moment in pop culture history. 35. Carrie Underwood's rise to stardom began in 2005 when she won the hearts of audiences and became the champion of American Idol. This victory marked the start of her illustrious career, which has since seen her achieve numerous accolades, including a Grammy Award for Best New Artist. Underwood's win on American Idol propelled her into the spotlight, and she has since become a reigning figure in the world of country music, captivating audiences with her powerful voice and heartfelt performances. 36. In 2006, Angelina Jolie was at the height of her fame, not only for her acclaimed acting career, but also for her high-profile personal life. Alongside her numerous awards and accolades, Jolie attracted significant media attention for giving birth to her and Brad Pitt's first biological child, Shiloh. With her talent, beauty, and philanthropic efforts, Jolie became one of the most iconic and influential figures of the mid-2000s, captivating audiences worldwide.